my name is Jeffrey Wolf, and it's my uh, honor and privilege to participate in this uh, incredible uh, undertaking. Uh, Lilu Nishmas uh, Sarah Lam Drach, uh, Sarah Rifka Bas uh, Harav uh, Nachomu Mindel. I uh, only really got to know uh, Sarah once. I was uh, school in residence in uh, Stanford when uh, she and Mar when Mark was the rabbi there. And I think actually that was quite, enough. it was sufficient to be able to take in her remarkable personality. I, I remember st standing in their kitchen when, uh, when I first arrived in Stanford, and uh, Mark and I were talking, and she sort of came in and said, Hi, I'm Sarah Lambrat Dratch. And she was just filled the room with her light and energy and enthusiasm and her... Untimely Patira is a tremendous estalcos for those who are close to her and for those who are only privileged to uh, to come into her light once. And uh, hopefully, this will be a uh, uh, this series of shurim will be a perpetual expression of uh, love and affection and uh, testimony to her uh, to her. Uh, ineffable uh, personality and the mark that she left on so many people. Eerily, the Perik that I've been asked to uh, discuss, Perik Memdalit, in, uh, in Tillam, uh, is not all that inappropriate because it describes the uh, inability of a fundamentally loyal and faithful and devoted Jewish people to come to terms with a feeling of abandonment of Hester Ponim, of God hiding his face uh, from, uh, from his people. The uh, parak starts, Lam Natseach Levnei Korach Maskil. This is a, uh, um, for the conductor, for the descendants of Korach, Maskil. The word maskil is interesting. Um, it uh, most before seem seemed to indi and indicate. Bradak thinks this way as others uh, that in fact the word maskil means that it is a. Uh, it can, this capital contains um, information or contains ideas that are so axiomatic and so essential for Torah and so essential for Judaism that they need to be conveyed in a coin that can be understood by the uh, average person. Um, in the same sense, it's I, I, the Radak and others uh, note the similarity between the word maskil here and the pasuk in Nehemia that uh, the Levium uh, at the famous uh, reading of the Torah by Ezra um, at the beginning of the uh, Second Commonwealth that the Levium um, uh, read this is Nehemia Parakhes Pasukhes Vaykru Besefer Betorah Sayelokim Meforash that the, the uh, they read the Sefer Torah. God's Torah, uh, explicitly v'som seichel v'yavidu b'mikra, and they explained, and they, tra and they, and they trans transferred and translated the words of the Torah, not necessarily linguistically, but in terms of its uh, its uh, its uh, its meaning, um, and conveyed that meaning to the people. In other words, they they they, they made it accessible to the. Um, to the entire uh, congregation that was there assembled. And in fact, the uh, institution of the Maturgamon, uh, according to some, is uh, actually traced back to, uh, traced back to this, uh, to this institution, to this institution of the, this moment at, uh, at the Watergate, at the, uh, at the Shah Hamayim, where the uh, initial, uh, where the initial uh, reading of the Torah took place. Like David Ezra says, some seichel, they made it, Intelligible. Samu sechlam lahavin ba mikra zos asuma be iyun halev ketam vetna et libi ladas chokma. They made a point of first of all understanding uh, the Torah themselves and also conveying it. Um, there used to be an expression that's attributed to Reb Chaim Brisker as a felt in Hasbara, as a felt in Havana. If a person is not really able to uh, explain Torah, he can't uh, can't be called upon to to. Uh, uh, can, if a person is not able to properly explain Torah, it means he doesn't really understand. If he understood, he'd be able to explain. And similarly, people who presume to represent Torah have to delve therein and to uh, elicit um, 
it's, it's inner meaning in order to be able to convey to, to communicate it. In any event, the um, what, so what is this major? Uh, what is this, what are these major principles that uh, more than other kapitluch uh, are ensconced or embedded into um, into this capital? So the so the parak is divided actually into two parts. The uh, f- the first few psukim uh, describe uh, the relationship of um, of the psalmist and of his generation to the nisim beniflaos to the uh, to the wonders and miracles of the going out of Egypt, uh, says the uh, says the Bala Mizmor. Elokim bosnein bosneinu shamanu avosenu siprulanu poel pal to be a mehem be mekedem. We have heard. We have on good authority. Our elders have. Uh, have told us, our forefathers have told us of the wonders of the Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, of Kibush Haaretz. Um, we know, we didn't experience this ourselves. It's a remarkable thing to be said in the time of uh, time by Yisrishin. But we've heard the stories ourselves, but uh, we've never experienced something so anything similar. You yourself, O Rabbi Shalom, you, you sent the, the 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 Canaanites out, and you you caused their defeat and allowed for the uh, for the tribes to inherit the land that you promised Avram Avinu. It wasn't our. Of course, we obviously had had arms. We had swords and all kinds of things. But it wasn't that. It wasn't really. That wasn't what 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 won us the victory. What won us the victory was, in fact, the fact that you were with us and you fought for us. The same message that Zechariah reminds us of that we read um, for the Haftar of Pesach. Uh, uh, that uh, that ultimately all of the uh, fancy weaponry uh, that uh, we might have is really of no value unless the Kaddish Baruch Hu is on our side and is there uh, holding our hands and uh, giving strength to our arms, and that's what uh, and that's what the psalmist is saying is that ultimately we know we conquered Eretz Israel. But by the same token, the reason we conquered it was because you wanted us. You were, you were there with us. Atahu Malki Elkim You are my you are my king, O Lord. Um, you command, you command the uh, salvation of Jacob. Uh, it is in your name and through you that we will uh, turn aside your um, uh, <coughs> excuse me our enemies and we will uh, defeat all those who come upon us. Through you, um, through, in your name, I don't trust my, uh, I don't trust my, my, um, uh, my, my bow, and I don't, and my, and my sword will not, uh, will not, uh, will not save me. It's all up to you, Rabbi Shalom. And Rabbi Shalom. The, the psalmist is begging, he's saying, Rabbi Shalom, we haven't forgotten you. We praise you every single day. We, 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 we never forgot you. And, and that's why our present predicament, and it's really unclear exactly what the uh, present predicament is. Um, some say that it's uh, some local defeat that happened in the time of Bayez Rishon. Uh, others uh, say that the capital was built, that was written Beruach HaKodesh, foreseeing a time in which God would hide his face and uh, and it would be totally un, 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 uh, inexplicable why uh, our loyalty um, despite our loyalty we were forced to uh, undergo things which were so uh, so uh, so travail filled and so uh, and so difficult you have abandoned us and, and we are ashamed. When we go to battle, you're not with us. You've caused us to retreat before our enemies. And our enemies ended up, uh, ended up striking us. And so on and so forth. Just over, on and on and on, the psalmist says, We've suffered so much and we've been loyal to you. Um, there's. Uh, it's 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 a long, it's a it's a sentiment which which comes up more than once in uh, in Tillam. Um For example, you have the famous uh, beginning of uh, of Tilim Parikaf Bet Pasuk Bet Keli Keli Lama Zaftani Rachok Mishuati Divrei Shagasi. Why have you abandoned us? We haven't abandoned you uh, under any circumstances. 
uh, there's one actually one um, one line that uh, specifically uh, rings out um, at least uh, at least for me in terms of uh, in terms of uh, in my work um, Im shachach in kapasa kafalif im shachach nu sheim elokenu when if rose kapenu le elzar did we ever forget you? I mean the yetsir for the yetsir for avodah zara has been gone for a very long time. Uh, we we have not forgotten you. Hello elokim yechkorzos ki hu yodei telavos leiv. You can look into our hearts and know that we have not abandoned you. That you are the one, the only one that we think of. You are the only one who's 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 in our awareness. We, for your sake, we are killed every single day. We, we, we feel like like uh, like uh, like like uh, sheep to the slaughter. The um, this pasuk Yalecha Horagnu Kolayom pops up consistently throughout throughout our liturgy. Um, on uh, when, when, on, on to, when you say in the long tachnun on Wednesdays and Thursdays, habet mishamay murei ki ayinu lagva kelos lagoyim, we've we, 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 we're 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 stock among the nations because of the prices that we pay, a uh, price that we pay for for being, remaining remaining loyal to you. Um, you find to uh, the Meiri on this uh, on this pasuk. Uh, puts it very uh, puts it very starkly. The Meiri uh, li- was a wi- was was a witness to uh, the um, preliminary uh, uh, outbreak anti Jewish outbreaks in the early parts of the uh, of the 14th century. He went through the uh, the expulsion from France in 1306 and was very much aware of the um, very very tragic history of uh, his brethren in the north in France and in and in Germany. And uh, he says, and he writes as follows. Even when they tried to force us to convert to other religions, um, we, we, would, we would rather die than abandon you. Um, there's a, uh, another one, that's, that's from there. There is a uh, line from the uh, uh, one of the, the chronicle of Rabbi Ephraim of Bonn, which is written at the end of the uh, 12th century, uh, describing one of the um, the era of the Second or Third Crusade. Uh, he writes as follows: Kalani Miroshi, Kalani Mizrawi, quotes the Gemara, Vimka, that 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 God should um, that God should God, that God, looking up to God and asking Him to look down at what we are doing. Um, and what we are going through, despite our ongoing and unbending loyalty to him and to his Torah, um, he says, he says, he says, "Shenim shelo Yisrael liyona," that Israel is compared to to a dove. Dirsevei nayach yonim, because the pasuk from uh, from Shir Shir, which of course is an expression of the love between a Kadosh Baruch Hu and Israel. Ma hayona hazo kol ha'ofels kishayin nishchotem emefarkas emefarkasin. All the other animal, all the other, um, all of the other uh, birds, when they're uh, when they're slaughtered, they shake afterwards. Aval hayona enokain. The dove is not like that. Ela posheta savara. It uh, stretches out its its throat. The same way that the that the dove is ready is puts itself ready to to pay the ultimate price to give up its life. So it is that it, only Israel is willing to pay that price for the sake of our Kodesh Baruch Hu. Shneamar he quotes our pasuk ki alecha horagnu kolayam because because we will only pay that price for you. It's a very sad uh, capital. It's a very plaintive uh, capital. But it has tremendous faith and tremendous strength in it, because the conclusion of the uh, chapter is not, you know, you're not here. So, uh, what like Job's uh, Job's wife says, curse God and die, but rather, even though our even though we're we're now down in the dust, kuma ezrasalanu ufdenu leman chastecha, we still pray to you. We still say, rise up and help us, 
redeem us for the sake of your grace because of the fact that we will never under any circumstances no matter how tough the going gets no no matter how difficult the way the road no matter what we are forced to go through we ultimately believe that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is our God HaKadosh Baruch Hu will in fact look down and save us HaKadosh Baruch Hu and we, and we accept God's judgment as difficult as it is, as far as that is, is for us to understand. Because at the end of the day, it is emuna and its reliance and its bitachan that is the key to our life, the life of our souls, and the life of our children. And may that message be one not only of inspiration, but also of consolation.